So my name is Omar Ambassad. It's 3.13 p.m. October 15, 2019. So um, uh, the continuation of the targeting program that is uh, going on in this building and the push to have me mentally committed is ongoing, as I mentioned. So um, today is Tuesday and there is uh, ongoing um, meetings about me because I'm flagged and uh, data is collected from just about everybody who is in contact with me or who sees me, basically. Um, you could be passing the street and somebody will say, oh yeah, I saw her and have an, op have an opinion. And uh, there are meetings based on these opinions and then submissions made to get new flags and new warrants and so on to have me mentally committed. So um, the, uh, the, um, the push is on to say I'm depressed um, and um, I can't take care of myself and, uh, and all sorts of nonsense like this. So th th what I'm doing now is uh, to show, I'm putting my face on the video to show that there, first of all, there is no emergency. Uh, second of all, they, uh, to say that the submissions are all lies, um, frame setups, out and out lies, um, and it's meant to be that way. It has to be that way because this whole targeting program, in my case, uh, is meant to bring me down and uh, to keep me servile and to traffic. And um, this is a piggybacking on the remote trafficking that's been going on for a long time, years. So um, it's come to the point because I've been very, um, very, very, um, um, aggressive in the exposure of the, um, of the uh, program with my blogs and my YouTube videos and my tweets and so on. And, and providing evidence of being hit with remote technologies. Um, I am uh, aggressively being targeted further. So, um, so more and more lies are being told, more and more people are involved. Um, it's escalated uh, from whatever level it was at before to another level. I heard the government is involved. Um, as I pointed out before in my tweets, I am not anti-government. I believe in a very strong government. There is a need for strong government, strong, effective government. Um, and uh, the government, like any other organization, is open to co being corrupt, being corrupted, infiltrated. And uh, this is what I'm speaking up against. I am not anti whoever it is on the top of the, uh, of the totem pole in the government. It could be conservative, it could be liberal, it could be NDP. I really don't care who's at the top. Uh, I am not anti um, uh, any prime minister at the top. This is not where I'm going with this here. Um, within each government, regardless of who's at the top, within each government, there are people in their positions and titles and levels that are susceptible. And these are the ones who hold the power, the decision-making power within the subcategories of the government. So these are the people who are um, vulnerable to being infiltrated and being corrupted. So uh, because these subsections of the government are corrupted and infiltrated, it doesn't necessarily mean that the entire government is corrupted and infiltrated. It's not. So I'm not being anti-government when I say that there are criminals in the government who are doing this. And that's exactly what's going on here. And of course, there are criminals in the court system and there are criminal judges and there are criminal lawyers, just like all the other professions, they are infiltrated. Um, so, uh, I'm not being, uh, uh, again, I'll repeat, I'm not being anti-government when I say these things. Um, and again, I'm going to repeat that any claims of my carrying weapons and so on, claims of my being aggressive, uh, carrying weapons, this, this is not true, I do not carry weapons, don't believe in the use of them, there's no need. There's absolutely no need for a weapon. Unless, of course, you're in a battlefield or um, um, 
there's no need for uh, being physically uh, aggressive unless somebody's coming at you physically. So uh, for self-preservation, self-defense. Um, any other any other situation is um, as uh, um, knowledgeable human beings, civilized human beings, there is always another option. There is always another option than the option to pick up a weapon to resolve a situation. So I don't believe in it. Um, so, uh, um, uh, I'm just, I was going to give you a, a little sample of the signals and um, it's been going on for quite a while. Yesterday I was out. Um, it's fall and the colors are really beautiful. So um, I was out looking at uh, some of the colors out there and I was hit all day and I was in a vehicle and I was still being hit. So the vehicle was being tracked or I was being tracked in the vehicle. Um, so this is a so this is a, um, a satellite based system, um, which implies some sort of um, uh, a GPS um, somewhere a GPS um, emitting. Let me rephrase that. It implies some sort of a transmitting device. Let's just say that it could be your cell phone. Who knows? Could very well be a cell phone as well. So um, I'm just going to show you some signals here. So this is my hand again. The detector is not connected to anything. And that's my hand. And the power is turned up because I'm getting cramps in the chest and um, acid reflux like um, sensations when really I don't have acid reflux. It just goes away as soon as the signals go away. So the power is turned up. Take my hand away. Put my elbow on. Power is turned up. That's quite high. So I'm going to put a live wire on there. This is the wire that's connected to the camera. And that's the wire. Touching the detector, just about where the sensors are. So compare this, I'll take the wire away now, and it went down to 8. So compare this to the arm, excuse me, the arm, and it's comparable. Let's take that away. Let's wire away from the detector. So there is no wires there. So just now put the hand on. Take the arm away. Put the elbow on. <laughs> 